Welcome to Bash lesson number four. Today we're going to go over a uh, application for Bash called Lynx, spelt L-Y-N-X, uh, and uh, it is a text-based web browser. Um, and then we're also going to use uh, mPlayer a little bit towards the end. Uh, right now I'm at a uh, website called ccmixer.org, and um, it's a Creative Commons site. It has various music, which where artists can share loops and and tracks and uh, remix each other's songs. Uh, it's great uh, just to come and find new music. I clicked on the uh, remix uh, link and here's the editor's choice, top 15. And uh, so you can see there's a few different songs here. If you click a play button on any songs, it will start playing that song. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, links to download the source code of this page and then use uh, grep and cut to go through the page and find all the mp3 files. So let's jump right into bash. Let's stop that song there. What I need to do is uh, get the address to this web page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it in here. Uh, if you don't already have Lynx installed, which it is installed on uh, many versions of Linux, but uh, if you don't, just use whatever install program you have to install it. Uh, a lot of distributions use uh, Aptitude or apt-get, and it would be apt-get, or aptitude install links, and while you're at it, check and see if you have mplayer installed. So just type that in as root and uh, hit enter, and it should download and install those two applications if you don't already have them. Uh, and what I'm first going to show you here is links, if I use the uh, dump command, will just dump the contents of that page, the text portion of that page. See here at the bottom, it gives you a list of every link on the page, which is very useful in many cases. But then if I go up, you'll see that uh, it's the text contents of that web page. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to type in the same command, but instead of dump, I'm going to use the source switch. So I'm going to go back here, delete where it says dump, and put in the source, and enter and dump the source code of that web page. Now what we want to do is find the uh, mp3 files on that page. So we're going to pipe it into the grep command. That's all right. Grep. And we're going to grep any line that says mp3 in it. So there you can see all the lines of code that have uh, the contents mp3 in it. And what we need to do now is cut it out so we just have the address of the mp3. And we're going to look in each line. You'll see that we're going to use, uh, you can use different things, but I'm going to use the uh, single quotes here. And we're going to go with the third one. So we're going to want field four because we want what's after the third single quote. So we're going to take the last command that we typed and use the cut command with a delimiter of a single quote. We're going to go to field four. Doing that, will dump just the link to these songs. Uh, at this point, if you wanted, you could highlight one of these links and use mPlayer, because mPlayer will stream music. Type in the address and press enter, and mPlayer will play that song for you. Now, uh, in the next lesson, I'm going to show you uh, how you can continue this lesson and use the while and read command to automatically play all those songs in order instead of having to copy and paste them one at a time. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial.